Hello, my name is Randy Fine. I am a life issues counselor, host of the Blog Talk Radio podcast, Define Time for Healing, video maker and songwriter, and author of the books Finally and Awaken from Life. In March 2014, I was talking to a friend who knows me very well, telling him about how easily I absorb the feelings of others. He said to me, Randy, that's because you are an empath. I've always known that about you. It was funny because I didn't even know that about myself. Well, I can clarify that. I knew that I was a highly sensitive individual who picked up all the energy around me, and I knew that those energies depleted my own reserve, leaving me tired all the time. I knew that I felt deeply for every living creature and therefore didn't want any animal to die just so I could eat. I knew that I could look into the eyes of any animal and instantly connect with their soul. I knew that upon meeting people for the first time, I intuited a great deal about them. And um, I knew that many people who interacted with me did not understand me. What I didn't know was that there was a name that incorporated all those aspects of me in addition to many more unusual traits that I didn't just mention. Being a writer, speaker, and avid student of life, I decided to learn more about empaths. Right off the bat, I was wowed by how well the characterization of an empath fit me. There was no doubt I had to agree that my friend knew me better than I knew myself. Amazing. As has always been my nature, when I learn new things, I share them so others can learn too. With my writing and speaking platforms solidly in place, I regularly reach many people who want to learn what I share. So I wrote a show called What is an Empath and Are You One? and then followed it up with an article on my website. Several publications picked up the article and it went viral. I began receiving comments and questions from slews of people who read and related to the article. The common denominator with everyone who wrote to me was that they felt like outcasts. They felt isolated and lonely in their suffering. They felt as if no one could relate to them. Realizing how many of us are out there, I decided it would be greatly beneficial to create a sense of community for empaths, a place where people from all over the world could make friends, get support, and share experiences. On October 7th, 2014, Empath Society on Facebook was born. By only the second day, people were already sharing experiences and building friendships. So if all this resonates with you, if you know you are an empath, suspect that you are, or know someone who could benefit from the growing Empath Society community, please visit our Facebook page. I will post links to everything I mentioned in the description that accompanies this YouTube video. I hope to see you there.